All right, ladies and gentlemen, people, welcome back to another topic. As you come into the video, make sure y'all stay tuned at the end of this very video right here, because this is something y'all don't want to miss out. And by the way, Grand Rising, happy Monday, happy Monday. What it do, what's happening? I hope you're all doing well out there today. And today's weather, I'm not a weatherman or anything like that, but thank God it's starting to warm up. No more winter. No more cold weather. Thank goodness. But I must warn you all. Make sure you spray for the snakes and bugs. Because they are coming out. Depends where you at. <laughs> but over here in the country where I'm at. The dirty south. It's snakes, mosquitoes, and all that. So, with that being said. Make sure y'all keep y'all WD-40 spray. Bug spray stuff. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Make sure you spray your porch or whatever, whatever you at. Because trust me, you do not want to see no snake or a bunch of mosquitoes or bees. So y'all be safe out there. But with that being said, y'all, let's get right into this topic. Oh, share this video. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, do what you got to do. But yeah, <laughs> let's get right into it. You had shut down all of the chowder. They would have no choice but to shut up. Let me tell you this. Folks, you have proved them wrong. When I say you proved them wrong, you proved every single last one of them wrong. All they did was chit-chat about you. All they did was sit there and study you and had a little chit-chat meeting. But what you were doing, you were doing something that these people refused to do. As a matter of fact, they were scared to do it. You had put in the work. And while you were putting in the work, guess what? They were sitting right there watching you. Watching you work. Watching you elevate. Watching you involve in life. That means rising to the top. Man, all they did was just sit there and chat about you. Gossip about you. Like you weren't going to be the next big thing. You see, people that got insecure thoughts love to talk about other people. Have y'all noticed that? Insecure people love to chit-chat about others 24 hours a day. Everybody got 24 hours a day, but some people spend their time watching others, gossiping about others, slandering other people's names. But when they choose to talk about you, when they put their lips in their ashy lips, so I say, when they put their ashy lips or their mouth on you, they have the wrong one. Because let me tell you this, even though you maybe have struggled in the past, going through some tough times right now, but guess what? You about to shut all of that down. You about to shut it down, like I said. You see, ladies and gentlemen, these people doubted you a long time ago. Ever since you was a kid, they tried to play you. Ever since you was in elementary, kindergarten or pre-K, even the teachers themselves saw something in you. Your own teachers saw greatness inside of you when you were about four or five years old. This is why when you were growing up, junior high or middle school, going into high school, people had a hard time being friends with you because you stood out from the crowd. You were cut from that cloth. But back then, you didn't understand it. Even in school, people were talking about you. But guess what? Now you got older. Now you understand why you never fit in because God had put something inside of you that these people wish that... That people wish they had a long time ago. People are jealous at the fact because you carry something that's inside of you. It's not you walking around here with a with a shirt on that everybody wants. Anybody can get that. Anybody can copy a shirt that you wear. But that gift inside of you, man, Miss Lady, they can't copy that. That spirit that you carry, they can't copy that. Ladies. You want to sing one day. You got the voice of Whitney Houston. Fellas, you want to sing one day. You got the voice of Keith Sweat. 
and they trying to clown you because you can sing. But deep down in their little insecure bodies, deep down in their little insecure hearts, they know you can sing. So when they sitting up here standing, you watching you sing, watching you get your notes together, your singing notes, guess what they doing? Sitting there with their tongue out their mouth, speechless. Can't say a dog gonna work because you had shut it down. You put every single last one in the wrong. So while you out here singing, you doing the real deal. Guess what they doing? Over there lip singing, like Milly Valley. Ladies, girl, you know it's true. They over there trying to sing like you, trying to be like you, but they can't sing. They got a lip sing, like Milly Valley. But you though, you got that high note like Mariah Carey. You got that high note. You, you, it's just something about y'all. Y'all can sing y'all behind off. And these people said you couldn't sing, but guess what? You're singing. You're doing the doggone thing. You have put in so much work, so much effort. Not just singing, but if you rapping, whoever this would apply to, if you a rapper, if you like to build things with your hands, if you like to cut grass, whatever you like to do, motivate people. Women, you like to do hair, do nails, whatever you like to do. A lot of people doubted you because you had a gift. When you got a gift or a talent, people is going to doubt you. People is going to run their little mouth. They're going to talk on the side of their ashy mouth. I'm talking about they look so freaking ashy for gossiping about you. They look like that. That show. Well, what's that show? I'm not going on top, but bear with me. When Dave Chappelle did that skit with them ashy lips with the hat on like a crackhead. That's how they looking. Every time they talk about you and gossip about you, that crack of their lips get whiter and whiter because you know why? They can't wrap their head around you. They can't wrap the thought that you proved them wrong. Instead of putting in the work themselves, they would sit up here and watch you. But like I said, you about to leave every single last one of these people very, very speechless. That cat will end up taking the tongue right out of their mouth because they ain't gonna have nothing else to say. And that's the beauty of proving people wrong. Excuse me. That is the beauty of proving people wrong. Especially when the ones that say you couldn't do it. Especially the ones that say you would never achieve nothing in life. But the moment you achieve everything right in front of their very ashy faces or their very eyes, don't you know you're hurting people's feelings? But you don't care. Because at the same time, they end up hurting their own selves. When they choose to put their ashy lips on you and gossip about you, they mess their own life up. They mess their own head up, folks. All of this child that they were talking about you years ago, years and years ago, now it is finally coming back to haunt them. Now they can't say nothing else about you because... The truth, the truth is, you did everything that you said you were going to do. You did everything that these mediocre people would never ever had did. <laughs> and this is why you had shut down all the rumors, all the chit chat, the chatter. You put a stop to it by putting in the work. Everybody that doubted you. Can't say nothing else about you. And they're going to have to shut up and watch you win for the rest of their miserable lives. And you wonder why people don't want to speak to you no more because you proved them wrong. You shut down all of that chatter. And like I said, once again, folks. People are people is in their feelings right now. They are big time mad, big time pissed off, big time miserable, big time bitter. Everything about them so big time negative. And you so big time blessed. And big time talent. And they over there big time gossiping. Like this is a dog on soap opera or something. But let them talk about you. Because that's what you need. Because they giving you the power that you really need. Like I said, you the real singer. And they the fake singer. 
They over there lip singing. Hey, y'all in the middle of video from back in the late 80s. They was the first one they ever lip sang. And your enemies, they doing the same doggone thing. They can't even sing. Every time they sing, they get ready to hurt somebody's ears. But when you sing, it's like the early days of Mariah Carey when you hit that high note. The early days of Whitney Houston. You be ready to hit that high note. Keep sweating all them. Y'all can sing y'all behinds off. Y'all got a gift that God had given you since you was a baby. Ever since you was in your mama's womb, he gave each and every last one of us a gift. But some people refuse to use their gift. Just like I said in my other video, they come with all these freaking excuses. Don't even make no pair of sense. Just make up excuses. And this is why some people will never achieve nothing in life. Because they're coming up with excuses. Excuses on top of excuses on top of excuses. Like how many excuses you can come up with? A hundred? But you though. You did it without no excuses. You didn't care how you felt. You did not care. But they. As in them. These miserable 50 animals out here. They had so many excuses. It wasn't even funny. It wasn't even funny. But you got up every day in the morning. Early in the morning. And put in the work. Went to the gym. Got your work on fellas. Now they can't say nothing about you now. They can't say a doggone thing. Because you proved them wrong. Ladies you too. You proved each and every last one. Excuse me. You have proved every single last one of them wrong. Now they can't say a doggone thing now. They're going to have to shut up and watch it. All that chit chat they were doing about you. You had officially shut it down. When I say shut it down, you shut it all down. So the next time they see you, guess what? They're going to put that tail between their legs and walk with their head down. Because they so feel of shame, feel of guilt. Everybody is on hush mode. Everybody that doubted you, under animistic, excuse me, under animistic you. Everybody that put dirt on your name <laughs> end up paying the price. But that's what they get for underestimating you. That's what they get. You should never underestimate nobody. They get their strength from the most high. But you got some knuckleheads that ain't got no brain. Think that they can just talk about anybody. They get away with it. People need to learn their lesson. Be careful who you chit chat about because you don't know. That person could be the next big thing in the next five or ten years. Whatever the amount of the years may be, that person is working on their come up. And the same person that's doing this ain't doing nothing with their life. But sitting up there partying, working that nine to five. They're not even working on their side hustle. They don't want to do nothing in life. They don't want to cheat nothing in life. But walk the street and drink. Walk the street and gossip like they're still in high school and middle school. Them days have been dead a long time ago. And you still got some people out here acting like they still in school. Because you know why? That brain never developed. But George did though. As soon as you came fresh out of high school, you start becoming focused on your crowd. And some people move faster than others. But let me tell you something. I don't care how slow your progress is. Long as you're making progress, you're going to be all right. I don't care your progress is slow as a turtle. It's going to be all right. You're still going to make it. Don't let other people try to tell you. You take your progress. It's so slow. You're never going to make it. But I'm here to tell you right now. Each and every last one of you is going to make it. I don't care what they say. I don't care how bad they're laughing at you. You can't overachieve anything. Excuse me, not overachieve, but... You can. You can't overcome all of these obstacles that these people are saying about you. You can do anything you set your mind to, folks. 
I'm here to tell you right now, smile in front of the people that talked about you. Smile in front of the people that underestimated you. Smile in front of every single last one of them that has something bad to say about you. Because they don't have the slightest clue of what God about to turn you into. God is about to turn your whole life around right now as we speak. The Lord was standing right there by your side when these people were talking about you. He heard everything that they said about you. Because he said high, he looked low. And people thought this was all a game. They thought it was all a joke. But now you got the last laugh. But now, look who's laughing now. You are. And every time you come near these people, they get tongue tied, they start stuttering, they can't say nothing. All they can do is just look and stare at you. All they can do look is put their head down. They can't say nothing else. Because you did the work and you proved every single last one and wrong. Everybody that died at you since childhood, underestimated you since childhood, they can't say nothing else about you. All you can tell their little friends is, dang, they put in the work. Dang, he really did that. And they want to ask you a lot of questions. But they're too scared to come up and ask you. But also, be careful. Be careful, ladies and gentlemen. Because some people are going to try to come into your life as a supporter angel and act like they were really there for you. They're going to try to come into your life and act like that was rooting for you for the whole time. But the people that's coming out of the woodworks, that's coming out of nowhere, trying to be your friend all of a sudden, those was the ones that were gossiping about you. Think about it. All the times or all the years you were struggling, where these same people was at? Exactly nowhere to be found. But the moment you level up, the moment where God take you from that, Pit and put you in the palace. Oh yeah, be be aware and be prepared, cause your so called friends is gonna come out of nowhere, cause they was watching you the whole time. Now as they were watching, they were running off at their little crusty mouth, talking out the side of their mouth, doing all of this stupid stuff. But now, all that chit chat turned to tears, all that chit chat turned to silence. They got no choice but to shut up now. They can't say nothing else. But people like them, that can't aid the losers that they are, should be very careful of how they talk about folks. People need to humble themselves before they become uh, the person that they laughed at. Because like I said, it could be you tomorrow. I mean, excuse me, it could be you today. And them the mall. Karma is always watching and always listening. Always. Karma has everybody address, ladies and gentlemen. So whoever talking about you, do not react to them. Because that's exactly what they want. They want you to go back and forth with them. They want you to argue with them. They want to take your distraction off your work. And put their focus on them. Don't do it. Ignore them. They'll piss them off even more. Because people ain't got nothing else to do with their miserable lives. But try to make you miserable. But like I said, when you outsmart Satan and his little minions, trust and believe me, you're going to shut all of that chatter down. All of them rumors will come right back and bite them on the behind as we speak. So whoever out there got a career or they want to pursue a career in singing, you finna make your enemies turn into lip singers. They could be singing at Millie Ville, girl, you know it's true, and you could be singing the real deal like Mariah Carey and all of them. Whoever out there got some goals in life, keep putting in the work. Because I guarantee you, one day, your day gonna come, but that's for number. To remain patient, remain humble, and success did not come overnight. These people had read themselves. Now, 
they're going to have to check themselves for what they have said about you. They're going to take their lips and zip and zip it. Because they put their ashy lips on the wrong one. They had the wrong freaking one. And look at you. You overcame so many obstacles. Overcame a lot. That ain't got no choice but to put some respect on your freaking name. Keep smiling in front of everybody that doubted you. Because it's going to make them very furious and very curious. Because they're going to want to know so much about you. But don't tell them none of your business. Keep that between you and God. But with that being said, y'all, once again, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And I hope that title resonated to you all. They were normal. They underestimated you. But now look at them now. Send that in their feelings. Crying. Feeling bad for what they had did. And it's like the Superman or Superwoman that you are. You about to rise to stardom. You about to rise to greatness. Let's not forget that. You are your own hero. So act like it, ladies and gentlemen. Save yourself before you save others. And like I said, let them haters talk. Because they finna dig a hole for themselves. They finna be crying. And they pull their own tears. Watch what I tell you. God bless y'all. Be safe out there. Peace.